So I burn the fucking forest down. Twats. previous videos you will have seen I've had a bit of a nightmare recently with the oval chain ring that I put on less than a year old and a couple of weeks ago I was up at the bike park doing a bit of session in on the tables just about to go for a, another run down and as I put my feet on the pedals the chain ring literally folded under the weight of my body it's actually done a bit of a gouge out the uh, side of the frame underneath but that's by the by so I've been in contact with the manufacturer and told them what had happened it's also damaged a little bit of the uh, crank arms so I sent them an email and the response I got I've got to say is absolutely shocking uh, they sent a very very poorly worded and very strong email back basically saying that it was probably my fault for not putting it on properly even though it's been on the bike for almost a year um, or insinuating that I'd hit it which clearly I hadn't if I had that video would have been on one of the uh, Friday fails because it would have been quite catastrophic if it had fallen off so a piss poor product in my opinion and it's not even lasted 12 months so after a bit of to and fro and I finally had my money refunded as a gesture of goodwill, so they say. I really can't be arsed with going through all the hassle of trying to claim for the cranks and everything else. At the end of the day, it cost me less than 40 quid. The money is not important at all. It's the principle of the fact that the chain ring was absolutely shite um, and didn't last as it was intended. So it's put me off getting another oval chain ring, to be honest. So I've been running the old one for a couple of weeks just while I get it sorted, but I have ordered a new chain ring. It's hopefully coming this weekend. Um, I've gone back to a round one because to be honest, when I got back on the round one from the old one, from the oval, I couldn't really tell the difference. Yet before, when I went from a round to an oval, I could feel a difference immediately so I don't know whether it's psychological or, or what it is um, so I've gone back to a round one I've ordered a SRAM one because to be fair they've lasted really really well far outweighing probably buying the oval one to be honest um, so I've gone for the 34 tooth because I am missing that top end bit of speed I think that the 34 gives you over a 32 that's currently on it so yeah back to the round but in terms of the manufacturer, I will not touch that company and everybody that's watched the video will know who they are without me naming and shaming them again. But I will never buy another one of their products again. And I would urge you, if you've got the same products on your bike, keep a very, very close eye on it. Um, not that I've got any signs that it was wearing out at all, but they've lost me as a customer and a quick search of Google very quickly showed that that company's got a bit of a reputation for one the parts not being very clever and second and more importantly to me that the customer service is absolutely shocking so you can stick your oval chain ring up your arse i'll stick with a SRAM one and i'll let you know how i get on with it but uh yeah i'll never buy from them again rant over so i just finished work up at quarter five this morning so the benefit of that is i get away at a decent time so just coming up to the local probably drop into pines in a minute down to vicar water lake and just have a ride around the local trails i've also ordered some new brake discs 
so you'll have to put up with the uh, squeaking from the brakes I'm afraid until they come um, but again they've lasted absolutely ages talk about value for money the bike's done seven or well, just over seven thousand miles now which is probably a world record for this bike I don't know of anybody that's got that sort of mileage on a triple B and it's touch wood still going strong other than just wearing out components through wear and tear so yeah I've reordered some brake discs and they're coming or rotors rather and they're coming in the next few days squeeze past you buddy sorry all right you're in your world of your own aren't you I've got the headphones it's all right mate cheers realise having headphones in affected your vision but never mind Despite that bit of rain yesterday, it's still more or less bone dry. These berms are starting to get a bit of ammo now. 